A pleasant day to everyone. I am Laura Lato Sovano, one of the members of the Cybertech LMS Nexus team. I am going to create a tutorial on managing learners using the Cybertech learning management system. Okay, to manage our learners, it involves adding student. This means we are going to enroll a new learner to our class. Next, editing students' information. This will be performed if we want to update some students' information in our class. And of course, removing student or remove student. This will be done if you are going to delete or if you are going to unenroll a specific student from our class. So to begin this tutorial, we just need to open the Silvertech Learning Management System through this launcher. Uh, we can simply double click this up or you just right click this one and then open click open and then we will wait for a while to open this application okay so this will be the dashboard of the Silvertech lms to navigate just click the classes menu and then as you can see there will be a, a list of several classes that I had already created. So now, uh, just select a desired class that we uh, that we want or you want to manage your learners. For example, uh, I'm going to manage my learners in Grade 5 Earth English class. So just click this class and then it will display on your panel or in your monitor the class management icons so for this time just click the icon my learners and then of course as you can see it will appear here the list of your students in your english class now in this area we can enroll a new learner by clicking this button add student of course, we can update student information by clicking this icon. And of course, we can delete student or remove student by clicking this icon with X sign. Okay, now first, I will demonstrate on how to enroll a new learner. So just click the button Add Student. And it will display a dialog box with a, with a feedback of or a dialog box with a text with a text add learn class learner so in this dialog box we just need to supply the required student information in this area so of course first we will enter the lrn for example one two four four two nine one four zero zero one nine and then the family name for example salvano and then the first name is Oliver. And then the middle name is Cuenca. And of course, the gender is male. And then the birth date, January, uh, let us say 19, 1987. And then, of course, the guardian's contact number. But actually, this con uh, guardian's contact number or the parent's contact number is optional. But for this demonstration, I will enter my cell phone number. So 997-149. 1195 and then just click enroll learner button okay now there will be a feedback in the learner status learners successfully enrolled and then just click the button okay and then let us verify if Salvana oliver is already added in the list of students in the english class so let us see let us find so here the lrn of Salvano oliver one two four four two nine one four zero zero nine. Uh, family name is Salvano, and then first name Oliver, middle name Cuenca, male, nineteen ninety seven with a contact number. Of course. Now we can we we verified that Oliver is already added in the list of our students. Now, if we want to update some information, of one of the of your student in this class. So for example, for Baguta Jimwell, I want to update the contact number of his parents or of his, of his guardians. Just click this button, 
update student information and then of course you can edit his family name the first name the middle name the sex the birth date and the contact number so for this for this one i just want to edit the guardian's contact number or the parents contact number so i will make it 0997-146-789 and then after the one just click the update button so Baguta Jimwell already updated his information successfully updated just click ok button and then what how about if you are going if Silvana Oliver for the following for the next quarter transferred again to another school from your school so just click this button find the name Silvana Oliver and click this button remove student and then just click this one and the learner status feedback is learner successfully and enrolled just click ok and let us verify if Silvana Oliver already dele deleted or removed from your class so as you can see uh, Silvana Oliver is successfully deleted or removed from your class so I think that's all for the managing our class using this application. Thank you and a blessed day everyone.